Bon ça m'a fait, c'est moi perdu, c'est moi même avec guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good oh my goodness i'm supposed to look this way i hope you guys are doing good i hope you guys are safe i hope all is well i hope i just hope you guys are doing great okay i don't really know how to talk i just i don't know it's like when i start to talk it's like i don't know how to talk it's like i have a speech problem like and i go blank sometimes so i'm just gonna talk so if i don't make any sense i'm gonna crop out what doesn't make any sense and we're gonna keep it pushing Anyways, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about my experience as a plus size girl, as a fat girl, as a curvy girl, as a big girl going to Haiti, what I experienced. And now I'm saying this, I'm explaining this because maybe there's someone who's big who's going to Haiti for the first time and don't know how it's going to be. I'm going to let you know what happened with me. Maybe you might experience the same thing. Maybe it might be worse. Maybe it might not be that bad. You know, maybe... Maybe it won't. I'm just going to explain to you what I went through. And maybe there are people who have already gone to Haiti and, you know, can relate. So, I'm going to get into this video. I wrote some some things down so I don't forget. Um, it's not going to be a lot. I don't want to make this video long. I want to keep it short. So, yeah, let me stop talking. All right. So, I've gone to Haiti several times in my life. I've gone to Haiti about four or five times. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my nephew in the background. So, yeah, I've gone to Haiti about four or five times and when i went the first three or four times three or four yeah three or four times i was smaller i wasn't this big and i never really had any issues the only thing that i did not like was that they will stare at you like they just know that you're not from there or something like that i don't know but it was just very very like strange i thought it was just really really strange being this heavy and going to haiti i was in haiti about uh, six months ago, six, six, five, yeah, about six, six, five months ago. And um, <laughs> when I got there, you know, I got at the airport and everything like that, walking. We had to wait for our ride to come because they were stuck in traffic. So while we're sitting there, people are just staring. I'm like, okay, that's common. You know, like I said, um, they would just stare at you. They just know, I I've heard that they just know that you're not from Haiti. I don't know how. I didn't speak. They just know that you're not from Haiti. Um, They just know. Whatever. And then, so this is what happened. So while we're waiting, you know, we got our luggages and stuff like that. Me and my mom, we're waiting for the person to come and get us. People will walk by like, oh my gosh, look at that girl. Look at her. She's so big. Out in the open. Like, not, when I say out in the open, like, they're not trying to hide it, okay? Like, Haitian people are very blunt, very outspoken, have no boundaries, nothing like that. So, it wasn't like they was hiding. It wasn't like they was being secretive about it. They were like, they'll even, yo, yeah. <laughs> let me tell you, this one guy was passing by. He stood, had his hand on his hip, and looked at me, going like this. I kid you, like, I kid you not. My mom was like, what, what is it that you want? What you want? Why are you looking at her like that? And he said, oh, oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I'm, I'm just looking like I'm just, oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, it was just, it was just weird. I'm, that is just, it was just so strange. Like, why would you just literally stop in front of me? Like, and then on top of that, the whole coronavirus thing is happening on top of that. Like, I'm talking about there's no boundaries. Like, the people who walk up to you, <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> I've gone to Haiti several times, but it just never fit. It never just fails me to see this kind of stuff, whatever. So, like, you know, they was like, oh, look at them. They're so big, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all that. Get to, um, get a ride come. They get us. We get into the car and we drive off. We drive off. We get to, we get home and everything like that, blah, blah. So now, after being in Port-au-Prince for a couple of days, my mom is going to her her um home country or home country. Her home place, her whole homeland or whatever, where she grew up and whatnot. And it's in Lagunov. So to get to Lagunov, you have to get on a boat to travel to um to get to you have to, you gotta get on the boat to get to Lagunov. <laughs> so we buy our tickets and we're walking to get on the boat. And when we get on the boat, there's this man. Now, this man is just 
rude as can be like when i talk about he is so rude he is so rude okay i got on the boat and we was we was in the bottom of the boat where you know there's shade you can sit down underneath in the boat and everything like that and while i'm sitting there um i told my mom i'm not gonna sit out here because i'm not gonna sit out here because i feel like it's a little hot in here i'm gonna sit outside my mom was like you sure you want to sit outside i'm like yeah i'll sit outside so i go outside and i'm standing there and everything like that and they're getting ready to get the boats out so they start to pull the um What's that thing? The anchor. They start pulling the anchor, pulling the anchor. Like, it took a lot of men to come and pull the anchor. Everything is, like, it's just really interesting. Like, America, I mean, here in America, I know they got those things, uh, some kind of machine to pull up the um, the anchor. But in Haiti, like, they're doing it by force. Like, you see these men yelling, no, do this. Over here. Like, it was just so interesting, whatever. Okay, that's not the point of the story. So, this man who was just extra rude, he was like, oh, just um have this fat so um pull the um anchor up I, i'm sure she could do it by herself she's as big as a cow like straight up in front of everybody like this that's exactly what he said and laughed and laughed like laughed like it was like the, the most hilarious joke he ever said in his whole entire life like he literally dead behind. he said that to me i was like i looked at him i didn't say nothing I'm just not the kind of person, like, I'm not going to let what you say to me, like, really take a toll on me and whatnot. So that passed, right? And he just keeps cracking. Every time he passed by, he'll just crack on me, call me fat. What do I eat? How much I eat? What do I put in my plate? Everything like that. And other everybody else is just staring. He's the one that's really doing all the talking. Everybody else is just staring. Get to Laguna, right? Getting to Laguna, you have to, um, to you have to, like, kind of like leap over to get to the um what is it the deck the whatever i think the deck or something like that to get off the boat to get on to land basically so um i'm i'm getting down before my mom gets down and everybody's just standing there waiting for the boat people are going down people are going down and here i am about to get off the boat and everything and everyone's like oh my gosh look at that big mama oh my gosh hey y'all better help her y'all better help her get off the boat i'm like i am not that big like i do not need your assistance like, they made it seem like i was some kind of like somebody with disabilities or something like that like i needed ex all that extra help to get off the doggone boat i'm like i am not that big like calm down and i was like don't touch me don't touch me I was like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I can do it by myself. I am not I am not disabled. I was like, y'all see me walking. I am not disabled. I don't need your help. Even though I said that, while I'm trying to get off the boat, they still trying to assist me on the boat. Off the boat, off the boat, whatever. So now I'm off the deck waiting for my mom and everything. And then they were like, you're going to have to pay for two seats. Who's giving her a ride? Some of them was like, "Well, I'm not giving her a ride. I'm not. I don't want her. I don't want her to pop my tires because it was. It's mostly motorcycles. They have cars, but it's mostly motorcycles in Laguna. It was like, "Oh, I don't want her getting on my my bag. I'm not trying to have her pop my tires and things like that." And I was like, "Dang!" Like, and I actually had to pay for two seats every time I'm going somewhere and I'm using a motorcycle because those were were quicker. Cars couldn't travel everywhere because of the way the roads were set up. So every time I'm going somewhere. They have they charged me for two seats, okay? Two y'all know how disrespectful that is. Y'all charged me for two seats, and you know, good and well, ain't nobody else gonna be riding with you. Like it was just embarrassing. When I went to the football game, the football game in Zabuco, soccer game in Zabuco, like it was the same thing. They was like, "Oh, how did you get up the, up the mountains with her? Are you sure you that's safe? Are you sure you safe?" Or they're like, oh my god, look how she got on the got on your motorcycle and she already flattened the tire. But yo, the things I experienced when I was over there, the things that was said to me when I got up there to the to the soccer to the soccer match, they were selling like food and drink and stuff like that. And I was buying me a drink. And this lady um was talking to me and my cousin. She she said to she said, no, she wasn't talking to me and my cousin. She was talking to the ladies around her about me, literally in my face like i'm i'm you know sitting i'm standing in front of her to purchase something from the table and she's like look at her she's like that's so sad she just eating her life away she don't even care look at her just so fat just eating herself just eating her life away she probably just eat several bowls a day literally is what she said to me and my cousin was like 
you don't even know her. You don't know how much she is. You don't know anything like that. You you don't you don't know anything about her. You just talking you just talking bad about her like that. And then she's like, oh, I don't have to know her. I like she's like, oh, I don't I don't have to know her. I can see that she's destroying her life. I was like, wow, okay. She's an older lady. I don't know me. I'm not that kind of person to talk back. I know there's a lot of people who just don't care. Will say anything and everything. I'm not that kind of person. I was like, I kept it in. I mean. I always, I've always been talked about when I was growing up about my weight and how heavy I was. So it didn't really bother me. Like it was annoying. The thing is, it's annoying, but it doesn't bother. It doesn't get under my skin where I'm like, oh, I feel, you know, uncomfortable with myself because I know good and well, I walk fine. I am very flexible. Like I, I, I don't, I'm not stiff. I'm a big girl, but I'm not stiff. I can do a lot of things. So it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't really bother me. So I don't let that, you know, I don't let that uh, sink in or anything. I don't let it overcome me or anything like that. But if you are a sensitive person, that's why I said if you're going to hate in your plus size, pack yourself some thick skin, okay? Because you will experience some things. You will hear some things. You won't like it. You don't like being called Big Mama, Tinu Noose, which is like a uh, big bear, big teddy bear or whatever. Like certain things that they will say like, you know, it's just, or they're like, oh, that's a true American. That's a true American. Look how fast she is. That's a true American. Hey, cool mama. Like the things that they would say, they will be staring, they'll call on the other people to come look. Yo, like you're some kind of like art from an exhibit or something. Like <laughs> what would I tell y'all? Like the things I've experienced. Like, what else did I put down on this thing? Like, they think you can't jump. Oh, yeah, they was trying to make me. Those people that are trying to make me jump, ask me to jump. Ask me to pick up my leg. Can you pick up your leg? Can you touch the floor? Can you touch the toe? Can you touch your toes? People were asking me, oh, can you can you scratch your back? Can you do this? Can you? I'm like, you're not serious, right? Like, you're really not serious. I was just like, we we are not serious right now. Like, there is no way you're asking me if I could touch my toes, touch my back. Like, oh my gosh. Those are all the things that I actually remembered from this trip i don't remember a lot of things like some of the things i'm like Ugh, i'm not even trying to get into that like some people were really nice don't get me wrong some people were really nice some people was like oh my gosh you're big but you you're curvy you have you know you're still beautiful and all that stuff i've had some good encounter encounterments but there are some people that was just very like rude like you have the good and you have the bad the bad was just so annoying because I hate the fact that they would just point at you. They would stop and stare. And they're like, oh, my God, look at, like, oh, my God, hey, come look, come look. Like, all that kind of stuff was just really annoying, was just really bothersome and stuff like that. So, brace yourself, honey bun. When you're going to Haiti as a plus-size girl, brace yourself. Like I said, it might be good. It might not be bad, you know. It might. I don't think mine was that bad, but it was just really annoying. Like, it was just really, really annoying. So, like I said, Put on some thick skin. You'll be just fine. Ignore it. Know that you are beautiful. Know that you are strong. Know that you are an amazing person. If, don't worry about what anybody got to say. Don't let it take toll of you. Don't let it stop you from enjoying the trip. Because besides all of that, Haiti is beautiful. Haiti is fun. Haiti is amazing. So that's what I wanted to come and say. I wanted to come and share a little story and um, things like that. So, all right, then I'll see you guys again in another video. Have a blessed night, blessed day, blessed afternoon, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.